Hello, Jess Too Good here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the awesomest, most amazing, most epic, most coolest, most craziest movie guide in the universe, the Lego Movie 2 one. Now, this is the essential guide for the Lego Movie 2, which if you guys don't remember the one for, I think it was Batman, or no, that was the making of Batman and stuff. Okay, the one for the Lego Movie 1 just revealed all these summer sets. So let's take a look and see if there's summer sets inside here. Spoiler alert, there's none. The inside of the... <laughs> <laughs> ah, I just spoiled the video there. There are some secrets in here that are minor spoilers, so we're going to take a look at those. And if you don't want anything spoiled, click away now. And actually, you could click away by clicking that up there, which should link you to my first movie guide back in, way back in the day. That was a classic. Again, that's the one that revealed the Lego Movie Summer sets. So either way, this is definitely for kids, you know. I like the hardcover design and everything, but it just shows you around Apocalypseburg, but what you do get in here is some good shots of the new CMFs. Like if the CMFs didn't leak, this would actually be some big news, just what's included. Because all three, or sorry, all four of these are CMFs. Remember the, the, I mean, I can't talk about the leak too much. I can't show the leak, but that's gonna be a collectible minifigure. 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 I could say my thoughts on these because this isn't a book I purchased. The design of this is super lame because it's like the it's it's the swamp monster from Monster Fighters except with some extra added parts to it. So I wish it was a little bit more unique in coloring and stuff. At least the Scooby Doo one had different colors. This is interesting because we don't have any Wild Style with her glasses down like this, so that's exclusive. Totally new mold or sorry, not mold piece. Watch uh, Bricks and Bits to find out why we don't say mold anymore. Over here we have Scratch and Post again, which is kind of lame, but. It's almost like continuity because we also have Abe Lincoln again, and it's them in their apocalypse form. So while the figure itself is kind of lame, like it's weird that she's wearing this outfit, even though she's so old, the design of this right here is really cool. This cat with a mohawk. And it just makes me wish that they would have done a new piece for Hermione's cat in the Harry Potter theme. And Abe Lincoln, it's Abe Lincoln, so I, I like that better than Scratch and Post, even though it is a remake of it, because Steampunk Abe Lincoln is not something that's very foreign. We've seen a lot of Steampunk Abe Lincoln, so it's cool to get it in minifigure form, even with a new uh, piece at the top, because it now has glasses on it, or goggles. Not too much here. There is just a new character that I've seen in this book and some of the other books that was like, caught me by surprise, actually. Where is it? Again, I don't want to show too much of this because I know people want to read this on themselves, on themselves, on their own time. I've been messing up my words all the time lately. But I just want to kind of show you the interesting little physical parts of it, as in physical minifigure parts, potential minifigures that might appear. There is a mini doll that is just in all of these. I don't know what's going on there. Let's see. This ship actually right here Again, might be a spoiler or something. I've seen it in a shot in a trailer. This is probably going to be a summer set, let's be honest. It's the Res Rex Sil 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 Oh, duh. Rex Celsior, like Excelsior. I love that. Let's see. There was more CMS I thought in the middle here, but apparently not. We got scenes from the trailer. I mean, these aren't really new things. Okay, here you go. Here you go. We got some stuff right here. So, strange beings. I'm trying not to read all this too much, but they're called the Cutopians, the Anthropomorphians. Probably Fabuland right there. I don't know. Maybe they are. But at the end, they have vampiruses. And this guy right here, Balthazar, he has a whole page in a little bit. Very strange new mini doll. Um, but we could see Watermelon Guy, Giraffe Guy, and Cran Girl which those are all collectible minifigures. <laughs> it's like a meme for me to hate on like collectible minifigures that are not Lego pieces. So at least this guy is a Lego piece. We've never had Lego crayons before. Well, I guess we have like that Lego pen part, right? I don't know. The giraffe, we've never had a Lego giraffe before. Triggered, ugh. Either way, very complex uh, mask molds and Sorry, max pieces. Gotta correct myself every time I say that now. Let's see. The comb guy right here seems like he has a big role. He had a whole page and everything. Okay, so here is Balthazar. As you all could see, 
up here is this new hairpiece, and this guy definitely has to be coming in like a summer set or something. Um, I'm hesitant to read about this, but I guess let's see. Balthasar is in charge of getting visitors to change their attitude. There's no need to be scared of him. He is attractive, non-threatening vampire, so I guess the whole point is that he's probably going to be a villain. He thinks Lucy is grumpled dumpus because she won't change her attitude. Balthasar is an expert in meditation, and he is a super cool DJ in his spare time. In his spare time. So the design of this is very strange for a mini doll, but uh, I like that hairpiece. Hairpiece is really interesting. Zen Bunny is probably going to be in a set or something like that. I've seen them uh, show them. Also, this printed little piece might be in a set. I don't know. Or is that already in a CMF? Or might... I think it is in a CMF because isn't the Emmett one? Doesn't even have like a little piece or something like that. This is just straight ripped from a set. If you see, it's that uh, Lucy's Builder Box. And we have a look at whatever you want to be's castle. Maybe that'll be a set. Harmony Town actually has another part um, in this, which that's, I guess, a spoiler or something. We have these creatures, the plantimals. But it seems like Harmony Town is where Rex and Emmett end up in the movie. There's the CMF Rex, which, man, that, see that little hat right there? That could have been perfect for, uh, what's his name, McCree from the Overwatch line. That would have been absolutely perfect. I don't know why they didn't use that. Either way, um, the design of it, it's not even that good. I don't know. Um, I, I mean, it's perfect for McCree, but it's personal bias. I've been wanting a Johnny Thunder hair hat combo for years, and this doesn't fit for him. So that's why I'm saying it's not good. It's, it is actually a good piece. Uh, it just kind of slipped out. But either way, that's Harmony Town. And basically, Emmett and Rex seem to land there. I still don't know what it's about. I don't want to know too much of what it's about. I want to be surprised. We have some Fearless Fighter here. No Wizard of Oz stuff in here whatsoever, which the Wizard of Oz are part of the Collectible Minifigure series. And I think we might be good, except for the end, and I have some minifigures. Oh, okay, that was just, okay, that was just like the ending right there. They have a page of just the end of the movie. It's like, hooray, this is what happens. And, yeah, no, I thought there was gonna be more CMFs, but that is it. So this is nine dollars. Well, this is actually only nine dollars. That was as much as the freaking Rex book, and the Rex book was like not even hardcover. So, so a very nice design of this. But what do you guys think of the minifigures that were shown in here? Did you guys see anything I missed of summer sets? Let me know in the comments below. But I'll see you guys later. Peace out.